Hi, this is Sharon. Here's a little sampler for my Burning Academy. Enjoy! Let's go and let me show you a technique I absolutely love. And I've done entire portraits with this technique. I call it the scribble technique. You've seen me use it for other things before. I want to show you how well it can work. Okay. I have warmed up my pen here. I want to be able to get a good shading. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to scribble my shading. This works better on pieces that are a little bit on the larger side. Something that's real tiny doesn't usually have enough leeway for this. Now in this area I, I wouldn't do the I wouldn't do the scribble. Slow down for areas that are very dark. Okay. I think he got has a little bit of dark area here. All right, we have one eye. Let's do the other eye. Okay, let's see if I can get it to look okay. It looks like he's got a lazy eye here. I did the sketch very, very fast. Hey guys, see when I zoom in so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And here I go. I can turn the heat down if I want to go a little slower. It gives me the opportunity to also layer. If you are consistent throughout, it can look very, very nice. Okay? you need to have a level of consistency and to pull off this texture it has to look intentional okay I would not mix this with traditional shading I think this guy's the bottom of his nose was pretty dark if I remember correctly Do you see how he's coming to life here? It's just a scribble stroke. You can slow down to make it dark. Now I wouldn't use that on the hair, okay? I think it would have some dark over here. I don't know, I don't have the... I just overdid that. <laughs> but I'm thinking you're getting the picture here of what I'm trying to do. And that is using an alternative technique. And I've done babies with this technique. I mean, small children, and they it really can look incredibly beautiful. If you do it right, you take your time, you watch your values. This one's very important that you wash your values. Watch your values, okay? Not wash them. Here we go. I'm trying to remember what this guy looks like. Because I don't have reference next to me. I know this is... There we go. See how that goes? Using scribbling. This is a wonderful alternative to shading. I won't say it, it, you know, I mean, I won't say it's better or worse, honestly. It, I think it depends on what you are trying to communicate. The eyes are so uneven. Not terribly happy with them. Okay. Nothing here. Hey, this is real time you guys this is not speeded up for anything it's pretty easy to do these like this it really is I love this technique I wouldn't use it all the time 
but it's a wonderful technique. You know, if you're doing something and you just want to have a really good time, you want to do it quickly. I've done also full portraits like this. It just gives a different look. It almost looks like a, a granulated photograph. Okay. Okay, I'm slowing down here. Slowing down. Okay. Down here. All right, can you tell I'm having a really good time? I'm sorry, I'm taking a real long time here just because this is a lot of fun. All right, so that I'm not stuck. Whoops, I have everything over. So, I'm not, so you're not sitting here just watching me finish this whole piece. All right, here you go. Alternate technique for doing shading. If you've got, this is really, really good when you have fluctuating heat, when you have wood, that is kind of being resistant to you. I've used this technique for doing stuff on butternut. I don't re recommend butternut for portraits, but you, you know, you can get away with it. Um, wood that's a little grainier, I still don't recommend using pine at all. This is still not going to make pine look good. But, you know, it, it'll give you an alternative technique for getting that shading done. And as you can see, okay, it's not as smooth as regular shading, but you can certainly get some beautiful values from it.